So let me give you some word of advice if you are clinically diagnosed with being underweight as well as overweight. Um, most people are somewhere in between, but a lot of people are behind the eight ball or way ahead of the eight ball. And even that can be very unbalanced. Also, those that have trouble balance or trouble processing the food supply. Here's a word of advice. Salt and sugar. Salt is the energy. Sugar is the covalent bonding, carbohydrates, all that stuff that can turn into sugar. All that's covalent bonding. And salt and 5G and salt in the food supply are what keeps the balance. And so if you are underweight, like seriously underweight, and I know a lot of people out there are seriously underweight, and usually they are dealing with cancer disease and chronic illness, you need to not only eat the food supply, but do a little bit of J-juice to help energize the body to process the food supply. Okay? You also need proteins as well. But the sugar and the salt are the two forces. The third force is the intelligence. The third force is the intelligence to know how to balance that out and understand what's going on, where you came from and where you want to end up ultimately. And so, yeah, those that are underweight have not been able to process the food supply. And so that also taxes your vital organs because you're not getting enough nutrients. And so then you're being nipped and tucked and poked and prodded. And eventually, yes, you're going to have an, an inevitable mortality rate. Those that are obese have not given themselves the ability to release the excess. They are holding on to so much of everything. And you actually need more of the J-juice to be able to ionically take away that which is causing you the overaccumulation. And then at some point, you will learn how to eat the food and the food supply, and your body will know how to balance out both the ionic and the covalent bonding. And so people on my J-Juice, in my J-Juice world, they're discovering that, okay, they don't see a huge difference in their hair, skin, and nails, but they're doing J-Juice all the time. Well, they need to now give, some, give themselves a break because they've been on the J-Juice for a while. And they need to actually eat the food and just allow the body to take in those nutrients and process it without trying to release that poop like all the time. Like I know when I'm going through my evolution with being exposed to the covid I go through a little bit of peri a period of um, constipation and bloatedness. You know why? Because the body is utilizing those resources and it's taking the information from the food supply that's in my gut and it's evolving all the different systems that the uh, COVID is targeting. And then eventually in a couple days, usually when the body is finally recalibrating, it will release all that excess poop. But in that meantime of evolution, yeah, I'm a little bit lumpy. I'm a little bit constipated. I'm a little bit bloated, but I just deal with it. I don't try to get rid of it. Um, I do, my body will eventually do that, but I've trained my body to, I, I train my body to strengthen the sphincter muscle. I've trained my body to understand all the different mechanisms. And so you as a person who has to look at your evolution and look at how to balance out both the covalent and the ionic and the food supply, yes, you're going to, in periods of evolution, it's going to be uncomfortable. You're going to carry, you know, some poop in your gut. But usually the first thing that people go to is, yeah, do the J juice and release the excess. Absolutely. But there's such thing as too much releasing and not enough covalent bonding. So where you're so skinny and you're not seeing a difference in your hair, skin and nails, and I'm like, you've been on this for three years, two years. Do we see any kind of evidence of some kind of change? Well, maybe it's because you're releasing more than you're able to actually accumulate and regenerate. And so specific measurable results are really something which is the intelligence. That's the third, that's the trinity. Salt and sugar are the two forces. And then the trinity is the intelligence. The third eye is the intelligence to understand what is going on. Okay. Man cannot live on just jelly juice alone. Man cannot just live on the food supply alone. Man has to understand how to balance the two. And sometimes I'll take a shot of J juice, but I have so much energy in my environment from the 5G, from the salt in the food supply, from all the energy of the people that I live with or the person that I live with, from the people I hang out with, from the transducers of the viruses, that I have a lot of energy at my disposal because we live in an energetic universe. Jilly juice isn't the only electricity in, in your environment. It's one aspect that will um, 
help give you a preemptive like training wheels. That's what Jilly Juice is. It's like training wheels because you have not been taught how to actually release on your own. So you need the extra added push of the salt and the probiotics and the nutrition, the cabbage and kale. But eventually you're going to have to learn how to fly on your own. So that's why I told John, take a break, take a week break, maybe take two weeks. I've done it where I've taken a week or two because I'm like, I just don't feel like doing it. And there's a reason why you don't feel like doing it. But some people will override their feelings because they are so focused on what they think is the answer, which I get it. I've been pushing J-Juice and I still push J-Juice. But there is a point where there has to be balance and you have to see the specific measurable results. That's when you know the shit's working. Jilly Juice is one aspect. When you're focusing on Candida, that's the old world, Jolie. That's the old world. Candida is not to be your focus. That's just one aspect of the microbiome. I came from that world of compartmentalizing the microbiome of viruses, parasites, protozoa, proteins, fungus, and bacteria. And then at some point, you have to then bring everything together. Understand they all have to be balanced, but you can't be the one to determine how much yeast should you have in your body, how much protein should you have in your body, how much fungus should you have in your body, how much this should you have in your body. No, the body has the intelligence, but you have to give it the food, the coding to be able to actually tap into its intelligence. But when you're always releasing all the time and you don't see a major, you know, and you don't see a major, you know, difference, then you have to balance both sides out. Okay, then you have to balance both sides out. And maybe the reason why some of you are not getting to another level in your physical, maybe you're getting it in your mental and your spiritual. Okay, great, because I'm helping with that process because I'm actually discovering my ment- my spiritual and my, and my uh, mind or whatever, intellectual. But at some point, you must see actual specific measurable results in your hair, skin, and nails. Okay? And that means that maybe you need to eat more Stay off the J-juice a little bit because you have the energy in your environment. And if you're in a labor-intensive job, that's going to like also, also cause more energy that your body is going to use up. So already twofold, you're already at, you know, at a lot of energy that's being usurped. That's why I say, please try not to exercise on the protocol. But I know people out there that are doing J-juice are also exercising. And I can't stop them. I can't say anything to them because they're discovering their new abilities because of the changing in their diets or staying away from meat and milk and carbs and all that. And they're just doing a vegetarian, which, okay, fine. I get it. You came from an obese, but you can do jelly juice and be obese and not play the discrimination game because jelly juice will release the excess and give you your body the intelligence to know what needs to be released and what needs to stay. That's what jelly juice does. It actually allows the body to have the energy to be intelligent. But if you're constantly tweaking with exercise, or constantly trying to get rid of stuff, which I get. Remember, we went from one extreme to the other. I came from a point of obesity too. I was bloated. You saw pictures of me. I was so bloated. It was just like insane. And so, you know, I had to go through and you saw how skinny I was in that process. There's pictures of me where I look like I was just swimming in my in my, in my my outfits. I mean, there's a picture of me and Jason where Jason looked like he was just like incredible Hulk. And I look like some like wafy, swooning, you know, wifey all over him, like some, you know, wet noodle, you know, on a, on a totem pole. Okay. So you saw me go through the very skinny part of the J-juice because I was doing more J-juice and less of the food supply because I was playing that discrimination game. And then the evolution of the jelly juice is where we are. Okay. We're not playing the discrimination game. We're not doing the get rid of the sugar and the carbs and all that. No, you eat everything because everything needs to be in your body. You need to balance it out. But if you're doing a lot of J-juice and releasing all of the food that's in your body on a continue, like on like such a very fast rate, how does the body have time to think about actually regenerating? So a week, if you've been on the J-juice for three years, give yourself a freaking break. Give yourself a break. Because that energy is not going to allow your body to think that quick. Because it's being released, you know? Be bloated. Have a little constipation. And I mean, that eventually does get, gets tiresome. You're like, oh my God. And then the digital no bad thing comes about. Because I, I, sometimes I didn't want to do the J-Juice. And so I use the digital method. No, it's not glamorous. Oh, I'm sure I'm going to get a lot of flack for this. But 
<clears throat> your body is strong enough to handle being trained to training your sphincter without the J juice to be able to release what's in your colon when it's time. Not because you're like, okay, well, I don't want poop my system, so I'm going to drink a load of J juice and have these major water, which is great. Major waterfalls are great. But remember, it's about balance. And if you're feeling uncomfortable and feeling bloated, that's part of the evolution process. I finally was able to handle it this last COVID round. And I felt, yeah, my belly was just like this. I felt like, oh, I could feel it. And I'm just like, you know, but I didn't want to do JJ's. The reason why is I had to go through that process of feeling uncomfortable. But then the next couple of days, the body released it. It was just like as if it knew when to release it. Okay. So, you know, at some point, really, at some point, train your body to only do a little tiny bit, maybe like a shot of it, not even a pint, maybe a shot if you want, but really allow the food supply, allow the proteins, allow the soy, allow the milk, allow the meat, all of that to give you your hair back, to give you your muscles back, to give you your strong, vital organs back. There must be a specific measurable result that you can see with the naked eye that J juice and the food supply is working to your benefit. Because it's not just spiritual, it's not just intellectual, it's also the physical. And when you ignore the physical and do more of the, the intellectual and more of the, of the spiritual, then you're ignoring the physical. Okay, so remember, balancing those three areas. And so, um, and so this is my advice to all of you out there that are doing the J juice on trying to figure out what the hell you're doing. Oh, it's, let me tell you, it is a constant balance. It's knowing where you came from, knowing where you want to go and knowing going from one extreme to the other. And if you came from a deficit of fat, then you got to put the fat on the body. If you came from a deficit of not enough release, then you have to do the J juice to release the excess fat on your body so you can get the pressure off your vital organs. Okay. That's the whole point of change. And you have to feel the uncomfortableness. Okay. And so, yeah, in the beginning around JJ said, oh yeah, a gallon a day, which is fine. If you're, I guess, 300 pounds. Yeah. It's not impossible if you're three or 400 pounds, 200 and something, and you do a gallon a day in the beginning just to kind of get the pipes cleared and get the body recalibrated. So that way, when you do eat food, Everything is recoded, and finally, you're training your body to release excess and take what it needs. But remember, too much of anything, okay? And then you don't see a specific measurable result in a certain amount of time. Because let me tell you, yeah, there are a lot of spiritual people out there that are wasting away. Oh, yeah, they have great, you know, revelations about the universe, but their body is wasting away. Okay, so this is the balance between the body, mind, and spirit. And you're looking for specific, measurable results. And so it, you, you must be able to balance out what results you want to see in your body, as well as in your mind and, you know, and in your spirit. But that's all then a juggling act. And yes, if you are in a labor-intensive job, then that right there needs to tell you that lay off the J juice, eat a bunch of freaking food, feel what you got to feel. Don't use J juice as an enema all the time or a way to release, you know, all this stuff. Sometimes your body needs that poop in your freaking colon for a while until it's ready to release. Let me tell you, when I was going through my PMDD and PMS, I would hold on to poop for like days. It was just the most shittiest thing ever. It sucked. And then I was irritable and I was constipated and I didn't want to have SCX and it was just like, oh, okay. Finally, I'm at a very good, I'm at a very good balance. My body releases every single day. Sometimes it needs to hold it. Like I've had corn in my body for two days. Finally, release the excess corn. But usually it's about two days where I would actually hold on to food from the couple days ago, but no more than that. Okay. And so give your body a chance to think about what it needs to do, okay? There's a such thing as being too overzealous or not paying attention to specific measurable results. And that's the, the crux of Julie Juice is specific measurable results. It's not just the action only, it's the specific measurable results. All right, bye.